So welcome back to another video and today it's all about Tesla again but a little bit different because we have here the DC expansion packs for the Tesla Powerwall 3. So if you have a Tesla Powerwall 3 or you're looking at buying a Tesla Powerwall 3 and you want greater storage than the standard 13.5 kilowatt hours that you get with that product, well, you can do it with this, a DC expansion pack. So essentially what this is, is it's a Powerwall 3 without the inverter. It is just pure storage. Now, speaking of storage, it's exactly the same storage as a Powerwall 3 probably could have fit a little bit more in there because you haven't got the AC inverter, you've not got the DC inverter and you don't have a controller, you've just got battery cells. But anyway, they've kept it at 13.5 kilowatt hours. Now the similarities don't end there. The visuals of the product are pretty much identical to a full fat power wall. Now the only thing that is different is the depth of the product. So it's still gonna be the same height, 1,099 millimeters the same width, 609 millimeters. But when it comes to the depth, this product is 25 millimeters shallower than a full fat power wall coming in at 168 millimeters. So if you were to look at one of these from a distance, you would think it was a full fat power wall. Now, when it comes to looking at the product and where you're gonna mount it, you've got two options when it comes to your DC expansion packs. You can have three expansion packs in front of one full fat power wall. Now, if you do want to stack your DC expansion packs in front of your power wall or have them sort of all stacked out, then there is one consideration and that is if you've already had your power wall three installed, then you're gonna have to uninstall it and put it at the front of that stack. So what you can't do is just add up to three packs in front of the power wall. And that's because the power wall is the full fat version. It has the inverter, it has the comms connections, it has the DC inverter for the solar. So when it needs to be serviced, repaired, maintained, having DC expansion packs in front of it is gonna make it really difficult. So Tesla require us to uninstall it and stick it at the front, a bit annoying. Now, if you don't wanna stack your expansion packs or power walls in front of each other, then the alternative is you mount them either side. Obviously, you need the wall space to do this, but it is an alternative to putting them back to back. Okay, you've got a power wall too. I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no. You cannot expand a power wall 2's DC storage with a power wall 3 DC expansion pack. The only way to do this is to add an additional power wall 2. Now, quickly on that subject, as of January 2025, Heatable have purchased 50 power wall 2s. We've already sold over 30 of them. So if you want a power wall 2 and you want to expand your system, now is the time to buy. Head over to the Heatable website. When it comes to installing a power wall expansion pack and fitting that wiring harness, it's really easy. You've got one of these plugs on either side of a full fat power wall. Obviously, this is an expansion pack, which is why it doesn't have the additional components, but it's got still got the plugs. And essentially, all you do is crack this nut out, prise this little cover off. Now, because it's an IP rated, this is a gasket, so it's gonna take a little bit of fettling to get it out. So as it comes out, you can see you've got this gasket making the power wall waterproof. And on the right-hand side here, you can see the connector. So you will plug the head of the harness on, put the screw back in, torque it up to the specified torque, and that is your harness installed. Once you've installed the harness, then as an installer, you just go back into the Tesla app, you'll recommission the device. You'll see that the DC expansion packs have appeared in the environment and you just do your regular commissioning of the system. As an end user, what you will see in your device is you'll see your main Powerwall 3 and you'll see the additional storage. On the subject of price, expect to pay between five and five and a half thousand pounds to have a DC expansion pack fitted onto a Tesla Powerwall 3. Now the reason for the price variance is you have different prices for the different harnesses. If you're gonna have the power wall stacked in front, then you need the stacking kit. And if they're gonna go on the wall, then you need the wall bracket kit. But it is still cheaper than buying a full fat power wall and it's a more affordable way to expand the storage. 
So as a quick recap for this product, it is pretty much the same size as a full Powerwall 3, just a little bit shallower by 25 millimeters. You have the same storage, 13.5 kilowatt hours per unit, and you can have up to three expansion packs per one full fat Powerwall. So that'll give you a total or maximum theoretical capacity of 54 kilowatt hours of storage. The warranty on the product is the same as the full fat Powerwall, so that's 10 years and Tesla will guarantee that at year 10, you will have at least 80% of the original capacity in this battery. If it drops below, they will replace it under warranty. And finally, if you are looking to expand your Tesla system with one of these DC expansion packs, then head over to heatable.co.uk, where we'll be able to give you a fixed price to have one installed, and you'll be able to spread the cost with 0% APR.